Hey everyone, this is Brandon from Tuta, and today I'm going to be showing you how to send an end-to-end -end encrypted email in Gmail, Outlook, and Tuta Mail. Protecting your privacy is a priority, and using end-to-end -end encryption is a no-brainer. By using encryption, you're protecting your personal information and your data while it travels across the internet and when it's stored on a server. Using end-to-end -end encryption might seem like a daunting task, but it doesn't need to be. Let's get started. Gmail is the world's most popular email provider, but unfortunately, their out-of-the-box security leaves a lot to be desired. If you're using a personal account, then your Gmail account will only use standard TLS encryption when your emails are being sent. But they're not stored with zero-knowledge encryption when it rests on Google's servers. Once, e once an email reaches the destination server, that encryption is also not guaranteed. Your Gmail account is also full of ads, but it's important to note this isn't because of email scanning. These ads are displayed in your account because, based upon your browser history, not the contents of your email. So with Gmail, there are two ways of sending a quote unquote protected email. The first would be by using confidential mode or enabling S-MIME encryption. The first, confidential mode, isn't technically encrypting, but it does limit the ways that your recipient can react to an email. They're not allowed to forward, download, or print the email directly from their mail client. And after a certain period of time, which you can choose, that email option or that email will no longer be visible. Uh, I can show you how to go ahead and create a confidential email. You open up your account, Gmail account, hit Compose, to test, two times maybe, test confidential email. Now, what you want to do is come down here to the padlock to try confidential mode. You can go ahead and click that. You can choose an expir expiration date for your email from one day to five years. And you can also decide if you want to require a passcode. When using a passcode, you can choose if you want it to be an SMS passcode or if a verification code will be sent to that person's email address. See that here. Again, confidential mode is not end-to-end -end encryption. Another option available for Gmail users is S-MIME. S-MIME is available in your account if your account is part of a Google Workspace account or business account. In order to use this option, you or your administrator will need to go to, uh, will need to generate and upload a valid PKCS 12 certificate file into the account. This option isn't available for free personal accounts. This will require some hands-on technical work by you or your account administrator and it would be nice if end-to-end -end encryption was more accessible in Gmail. Our next option for sending end-to-end -end encrypted emails is with Microsoft Outlook. Outlook suffers the same encryption setbacks facing Google. There is a non-encrypted confidential sending mode, but again, this isn't end-to-end -end encryption. And what's worse is this is only available if you're using the Out Outlook desktop client, which in the latest version has an extreme amount of telemetry and overshares device information, including passwords, with Microsoft servers. So you can see here we have the guide to how you would send a confidential email using Outlook. Unfortunately, I can't do it because I'm using a Linux device and there is no Outlook client for Linux. You would go to File properties and then you can choose the sensitivity setting from normal to confidential. If we go ahead and look here in the web client you can see that there is no file option and there's no way for us to go ahead and send that sensitive email. In addition to confidential mode you can also use SMIME if you have a paying Office 365 account but this too is going to require you or your admin generating and uploading a PKCS certificate to the account. With all of these security steps towards encryption being either locked behind paywalls or not even being encryption at all, you might be looking for a simpler option, and that is where Tuta comes in. With Tuta, 
you can create a free encrypted email account that requires no custom settings configurations, no clumsy key generation, and no usage of weak SMS authentication codes. It just works. After creating a new account, all emails which you send will use our world's first post quantum end to end encryption by default, which is visible here by this quantum padlock, and they'll be stored in our zero knowledge server environment for safekeeping. To send an encrypted email, all you need to do is click New Email and begin drafting. When you add a recipient, test it. you can toggle on end-to-end -to -end encryption on and off. By default, you can see it's set to confidential, and it would require a password for the recipient to decrypt it. I can turn that off, and the email will be sent using standard TLS encryption. Please keep in mind, tuta.de is not a tuta domain. Using quantum encryption shouldn't be overly complicated. Create your tuta account today and start sending quantum resistant end to end encrypted emails fast and easy. If you liked this video and learned something, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. By subscribing to our channel, you can stay tuned for more information about privacy, encryption, and what's happening at tuta. Thanks for watching.